there are a number of different ways to achieve that cinematic look within your travel videos. Now, there are so many ways I can't cover them all, but the first I'd like to talk about is composition. I say this because it's one of the things that beginners get wrong the most, which is they don't frame their shots in any purposeful way. They will just point and shoot. So instead of just pointing and shooting, if they, for example, line their subjects up on the rule of thirds, or for example, if they reduce the amount of headroom above a subject's head, or maybe they use leading lines to create an aesthetic shot of a landscape, or they use, for example, foreground and background elements to create this kind of depth within their shot. All of these things, either singularly or combined, can start achieving a cinematic look in your travel videos. Another thing that people are often using now is movement and having camera movement. So either using gimbals or a lot of the time, like I do, using handheld camera movements in a way that almost replicates gimbal movements, you can really start to achieve a Hollywood look on a budget with a really run and gun filmmaking style. So just by integrating some of these cinematic movements such as a pushing forward movement into a landscape shot can completely transform that shot from something static that almost looks like a photo or something as another uh, mistake, something that might be kind of shaky and hard to watch to something that is smooth, dolly-like, and it really looks like it has been made with a budget and it really draws the audience in. It's quite helpful to think of all of these rules and techniques on how to get that cinematic look in your travel video as trying to boost the production value of your travel video. So you've got to kind of think about how can I almost trick my audience into thinking that this was made by an award-winning production team with all the gear in the world? When in reality, it was most likely filmed by you with only a couple of cameras and maybe a drone. So this is a really interesting way to think about it because you're constantly using these techniques such as amazing, you're really trying to think about amazing composition, combining that with a really well thought out and purposeful camera movement or for example, you have a little drone with you and you're flying that up in the air and getting shots that, you know, until five years ago, people only thought that was possible with helicopters. Once you're doing these things, then people will really start to get this cinematic vibe from your video. 